What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can see today, I am doing the old selfie stick method because Saquon's not here and uh, I got a corporate event today. So today is Thursday, September 29th. Hurricane's coming up the coast now. It's windy as hell up here on this rooftop, but the view is beautiful and I'm set up. They're gonna have about 300 guests here for the Raleigh Midtown Alliance and your boy is the vibe setter, the soundtrack. I hope you guys can hear this, the wind is howling. Luckily this glass, this glass partition is up, but I'm gonna show you around. This is at the 36th floor of a brand new residential building here in Raleigh, North Carolina, called the Eastern. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous, man, but this wind is crazy. I don't know how many people are gonna be hanging out out here. So I'm gonna show you guys around, see what we're doing today. And then Monday, I got another corporate gig, so I think I'm gonna do a dual video here. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that look around. Again, last minute preparations. Got the in-ears in. Ready for guests to show up. We'll see how it's gonna be. I don't know what it's gonna be like out here on this uh, deck, but there ain't enough room inside for 300 people. So they're gonna have to come out here at some point. And we've got a satellite speaker set up inside. Uh, if you notice today, the speakers are Martin Audio. Really nice high-end audio but they're not mine. I actually just showed up with the Bun Gear Command Center, bungear.com, grab yours today, and hook into that little DI box and uh, okay. was ready to play. And then they're gonna have a speaker right here beside me, and I believe they've got them set up with a couple of pedestal or podium mics. Looks like they got some super fat windscreens on them, which they're gonna need, I don't know. Definitely the vibe setter background for this. Should be a good time and uh, definitely cool views and plenty breezy. Okay guys, never really gave a recap of the last party, but it was good. Background music, most incredible sunset I've ever seen. The day before we had a hurricane come through, must have affected the sky because it was incredible. So here we are at the second corporate event where the North Carolina Museum of Art in my hometown of Raleigh, North Carolina. This is an employee appreciation party. So I'm kind of back here behind the gear, shooting the intro to this and I'm um, gonna give you guys a look around and hopefully uh, we get some people dancing. It's a Monday. Never play on money really, but we are going to give it a shot tonight. Stick around and see what happens. What's up everybody? Back here in the office after doing those two Corporate events, not back to back, but they were on, let's see, Thursday, the day before a hurricane came through North Carolina. Wasn't too bad, nothing like Florida. Man, bless those people. Tough, tough, tough down there in Southwest Florida, one of my favorite places. So uh, shout out to them. If you can donate, please donate to those people. We gotta look out for them because that was really terrible down there. We didn't get it so bad here, but the day before I did that show that I showed you on that Thursday, if you look at my Instagram, I just posted a picture today and it was the most incredible sunset I've ever seen. I was up on the 36th floor of that building on the roof and man, I don't know, something that Hurricane brought in brought the most incredible sunset we've ever seen. So that was amazing. Again, just the soundtrack for that. You might see a little dancing footage on the second show. Uh, that was last night. It was for all the employees of the North Carolina Museum of Art. 
they had just put in a new installation and they were kind of celebrating their employees. Again, super important to do for morale and other things. But again, Monday night, tough to get people dancing. I probably had, I don't know, maybe there were 150 people there. I had a nice little group of 20, 30 that danced on a Monday. Uh, lots of different requests, played a few line dances, which I hadn't done in a while. Played a little bit of everything, quite frankly. The age range from 25 to 75. But I was thinking about it. There was a couple of takeaways on this video. Number one, you know, some parties, even though some people on, on these channels will try and act like every party was the hypest thing ever and it was off the charts, blah, blah, blah. Neither one of these were that. Thursday was pretty much soundtrack, background music, a vibe. Last night, yep, I was trying to get people to dance. Uh, again, a Monday night employee party. Not, not easy, right? So not every party is going to be this rager, this banger. But I always think about it this way when I leave. What would it be like if I wasn't here? What would it be like if I was not here? How bad would this be? Every party needs music. And so I think people were very happy that not only was there music, but they had a really good DJ for both of these events. And the other takeaway was this. You are going to come to a time in your career when you sound and feel like this, I honestly feel like crap. Today, last night, doing that show, uh, I didn't have an assistant with me. I was doing it all by myself. And I was honestly, it was seven to 11, which is incredibly long for a corporate party. I would highly suggest you tell your clients that are doing these upcoming holiday parties and corporate parties to do like seven to 10. Three hours is plenty, plenty to get it in. I didn't know how I was gonna get through it. I felt like garbage, honestly, like just not good. I have a cold, coughing, and that ain't the first time. You know, I've been doing this a long time, but I put on a smile, I put on my, my, my jacket, I popped my collar, and I went out there and did my show. And there are going to come times when you or the DJs that work for you are going to have to do the same. And so, suck it up. Man up, woman up, whatever you gotta do, and go do your job, do your show, put on a smile, and don't let them ever know that you feel like crap. Because they paid you a lot of money to be there, do your job, and uh, trust me, as soon as I got out of that building and got home, I just immediately pounded NyQuil and went straight to bed. Power through, push through, do your job, be a professional. And that's about it. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment because I always personally respond and give me a big old thumbs up. See you next week, bye y'all.